Hey guys, Rob Gohe here talking a little bit about what's new in Inventor 2011. So let's get started. First we're going to start off with a fabrication template file. Now th these, are, these are new in 2011. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a base view of a assembly file. Now this procedure hasn't necessarily changed of course, um, but I'm going to go through, I'm going to find the assembly that I want. And this is where we get, begin to see what's, what's changed. I now have architectural view scales right here in the drawing view editor, or drawing view dialog box. Now once I place the first view, notice how it's automatically switching to projected views. I don't have, it's not an extra step anymore. All right? So you place the base one and attach your cursor as the automatic view. So let's go ahead and edit our isometric view here. Let's shade it. And here's another new feature in Inventor 2011, the ability to automatically retrieve dimensions from your isometric views. Same procedure as before, but here we now have access to those in the isometric view. So I'll grab the dimensions that I want and go ahead and place them onto the on the screen here. Let's get rid of that dialog. Throw these over here a little bit, get them out from, from behind, and carry on with our design. All right, let's go ahead and create a couple more views here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a section view. All right, section that over there. And I'm going to go ahead and create a detail view of this top million here so that I can show you that not only do we have architectural view scales in the base view, but we also have architectural views in all the views. So if you want section view, detail view, and so forth, we can reference those architectural scales as well. Now let's go over the annotate tab and, and uh, part of the fabrication template. You'll see that there are architectural um, dimensions. Okay. And let's place the uh, dimension, the thickness between these two uh, panes of glass here. You can see that it's one inch. Now you may prefer that it has has a leading zero. And and in previous releases, I couldn't do a leading zero when I had fractions as part of that. Well, that's changed in Inventor 2011. So let's go ahead and turn on the leading zeros. Save that, close it out, and then there you go. All right. Now another huge addition in my mind. Uh, to Inventor 2011 when it comes to drawings is to be able to, to import AutoCAD blocks that exist inside of DWG files. So you can basically use this like your design center if you're used to that in AutoCAD. So here I'll grab the block that I want, change the scale, insert it, and there you go. Now I've got a, a glass block uh, representing glass. Now another thing, I can copy and paste blocks or symbols inside of Inventor 2011 now. Again, another handy tool. Now let's do one more thing, and, and this one's gonna this one's gonna blow you away. Let's do something called the replace model reference. Now what that does is it says, hey, I've I've got another model that's about the same orientation, just different sizes. I don't want to do this drawing again. So let's reach out to that other file. And look at this, all of the dimensions, all of your views, everything essentially updates. If I would have said save copy as, I now have two versions of this drawing uh, that are referencing the appropriate assembly files pretty high. Now let's go ahead and look at one more new thing here uh, with this example and add uh, a chain dimension to this. We now have chain dimensions in Inventor 2011 and not unlike ordinate dimension sets you simply uh, select your first, second, third, or fourth, or fifth, however you want. Right click, continue, place it, and that's a lot easier than it was before. Awesome. All right, let's carry on with some other examples here. We'll switch to a different drawing here. Now, one of the things that, about uh, you know hatching is is uh, its ability to trim around text. And hey, look at that! It's trimming around the text. Pretty nice addition there to 2011. Now, the other thing is, what about hatch patterns that I have as custom hatch patterns in AutoCAD? Can I bring those in? Well, you sure can. And the way to do that is first you're going to start a new sketch, right? On on a view, project some files. Go ahead and browse out to your uh, hatch pattern that you brought in from AutoCAD, and we can control the line weight, the direction, the scale, and all that, just like you can in AutoCAD. And there you go. Who wouldn't want to weave in, into this drawing? Well, that's what's new in drawings with Inventor 2011. We'll see you next time.